about the fact that I don't have a real computer chair yet? I need one. I mean, my butt hurts. Shme. Hey guys! I know this vlog has been done a lot recently, and I kind of struggled with whether or not I should do it, but I figure this whole beta experience is so we can get to know each other a little bit better. So we can have some one-on-one -on -one time. So we can be like this. So I figure, why the heck not, right? So let's get into this. Fact number one, I have a coffee obsession. I love coffee. I need it to function every morning. But it's definitely one of my vices that I have no problem keeping. Don't plan on giving up coffee anytime soon. But along with my adoration for coffee as my adoration and love for the mugs that come with it. I'm in love with you, oh my beauty. I have a decent coffee mug collection, uh, but since I moved, most of them are back up in storage in New York. So I had to bring a few to tide me over until I can bring it down. So this one, which was actually a lovely little gift before I moved, and then I have my Bucks mug. And then I have my anthropology mug that has some old coffee in it. Probably should dump that out. But this one, as in particular, I waited a year to buy because it's anthropology. I love it so much. It's so worth it. Fact number two. I have an sundry of mustache items. Now I don't have a mustache collection because that would infer that I purchased the mustache items for myself. Which I do not. I have this collection of random mustache items that my friends feel the need to give me. I don't really know why. I think it happened a few years ago when the mustache trend just started to get big and I thought it would be a good idea to buy a bunch of felt and make some mustaches on a stick for a photo booth that I was using for a party and then I used it at several other parties too and they kind of became a huge thing and everybody loved them and then I just started to receive mustache items. So I have this lovely necklace earbuds that have mustaches on them. Now this one, the case didn't come with it, but uh, my friend decided to buy a bunch of stick-on mustaches and have a photo shoot. She sent me these. These are the exact same mustaches. Fact number three. I have a degree in musical theater. I thought my whole life was going to be centered around musical theater for a really, really long time. Ever since I was a little girl and my brothers brought home the cast recordings of Phantom of the Opera and Les Mis, and I would just go around singing them. I memorized them. I loved them. They were my life. But strangely enough, it wasn't until my junior year of high school that I found my love for acting and theater. My little podunk school didn't really have much of an arts program, so I didn't get involved in anything until high school, and then I didn't get involved in musicals until my senior year or my junior year? One of those years in community theater. But I went on to get a bachelor's degree in it, so even though my eight-year-old self is a little sad that my 30-year-old self is not on Broadway, I still will trounce around from time to time in my bedroom pretending that I'm on a stage singing a song. child we had an above ground pool and I loved that pool but sometime before I turned eight my brother's friends came over and decided to be stupid and they actually broke the ladder that led into our above ground pool so for reasons unbeknownst to me my father thought that we didn't need to buy a new ladder instead he decided that we just needed a little leverage to get us up over the edge of the pool so he put cinder blocks at the base of the pool so we could just step up and kind of launch ourselves in. So I'm hanging out there at the pool with my good friend and we're waiting for somebody to come watch us swim and I'm all excited so I'm jumping up and down on the cinder block. So my foot decides to slip off the edge and the shin and cinder block match 
and became mortal enemies. It only took three stitches to patch up, but it also left me with a complex about my legs for years to come. I didn't wear dresses or skirts for a very long time. Fact number five. I hate math. Fact number six. I wasn't a planned pregnancy. Surprise! <laughs> the word surprise can be used multiple times across my whole lifespan. My parents were pretty convinced that I was boy. I don't know if this was before you could have the sonogram to tell the sex of the baby, but yeah, they just didn't find out. They were so convinced that I was a boy that they didn't even have a girl's name set aside for me just in case. I was supposed to be Michael. Hi. So when I came out and I was myself, <laughs> it took them a couple of days to actually come up with a name. The only name that they could agree upon was my great-grandmother's name, Maven. But they actually have to get permission to use it because I have two extended cousins name the same thing. I'm so grateful for my name. It definitely fits me very well. And I have maven.com. I think michael.com would have already been taken. Fact number seven. I love Jesus. I love Jesus. No, not in the way that I say I love Jesus and go to church on Sunday and then live however I want to the rest of the week. I have centered my life around the commands and values of the Bible. Oh, controversy. Da, 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 da. I love and I trust Jesus so much that I moved my whole life from New York to North Carolina just so I could live like he wants me to live. Some of you might get that. Some of you might not. For me, it boils down to I just want to love people the way Jesus did. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully you know a little bit more about me now, and I think I'm going to be tagging Gina in this one, as well as any of my viewers who want to do it. I would love to get a video response from you guys so I can know a little bit more about you. So feel free to do that. Also guys, I don't like to say this very often because I feel like it gets annoying, but if you could please subscribe and comment and like the video on the actual YouTube channel, not on Facebook or Twitter. That would be really helpful because that's how YouTube does all of its stuff. So that would be great. Okay, thanks guys. I love you. Bye. See you tomorrow.